Welcome to Regis Algebra 1. This is Lesson 3.2, Distribution over Subtraction. Now, we've already looked at distribution over addition. Recall if we had 5x plus 3, when we distribute that, that becomes 5x plus 5 times 3, or 15. If we do distribution over subtraction, everything is the same but the sign. We would go 5 over x minus 3, and that would equal 5x minus 5 times 3, or 15. So the concept as far as mathematically how you do it is very, very simple. He goes ahead and derives it for you. So... Um, to explain why, that, why that's valid. Let's look at a couple examples. If you're distributing 3 times the quantity 4x minus 2, recall what you do here, is you say 3 times the first minus 3 times the second term. So 3 times the first term would be 12x minus 3 times the second term would be 6. If we look again, we have 5 plus 4 times 7x plus, whoops, minus 6. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to say that equals 5 plus, do the distribution first. Notice we do, would do, by order of operations, what's in the parentheses first, but we cannot simplify what's in the parentheses there. So our only choice is distribution. 4 times 7 is 28x minus 4 times 6 is 24. Now we are going to combine these two terms, and for those of you who are still working on mastering your signs, think what this says. This says 5 minus 24, or 5 plus the opposite of 24. This is a summation, add, adding sign numbers, or 5 in the positive direction, 24 in the negative direction. My answer will be negative for those two. Okay. And um, the difference is going to be uh, 19. plus 28. Don't forget to gather that 28x. Now typically, and you will find this more useful to develop this habit right away, the x term is written before the constant term, so typically we would write the 28x and then the minus 19. Okay, we have one more example there. I'll leave that to the student. Let's look on what's going on with the oral examples on page 95. I want you to open that to that page. Do A through L by yourself. Um, try to do it mentally and then check your answers with me here. Okay, so you should, um, I would go ahead and write these answers down, doing them together. Notice they're not asking you to combine, just do the distribution part. I care that you write them down because I want you to compare each one to the answer so that you're making sure you're very accurate with this, especially when it comes to the signed numbers. So do that, and then go ahead and do exercise 3.2. We're assigning 1 through 39 odd. Go ahead and look before you finish that, or afterwards you can come back to this. What I want to do here is look at 41 through 50 odd. So if you look on page 96, they're asking you to tell in words what was done. I'd like to do these orally with you. This would be 41 to 50, or 49, okay, because we're going to do the odd problems. This would be a distribution for 41. For 43, we've done a distribution. For 45, we've done a distribution. For 47... What we've done is we switched the order from the 3x between the 3x and the negative 4, so that is a commutative property of addition. For the next one, 49, 
we have not switched the order. It still reads 65K, 65K, but we have added parentheses, so that's the associative property of addition. So hopefully you can follow that. Solving those equations, let's look at that together. 51 says 3x plus 71 equals 44. The first thing I would do would be to subtract 71 from both sides, eliminating it there, and 44 minus 71 is the same as 44 plus a negative 71, leaving me a negative answer, and the difference between these two is negative 27. So now dividing by 3, you don't have to write this down what I'm when I'm writing down my thinking to the side there, but just to remind you, and x equals uh, po negative divided by positive is a negative, 27 divided by 3 is 9. For 53, it says point 4x minus 9 equals 13. How would we do that? Well, we would add 9 to both sides, so I'm going to get 0.4x, 13 plus 9 is 22, and now I will divide both sides by 0.4. Okay. x equals, recall what you would do here is you get the divisor out of the denominator, so I would have to increase that, so it's two, that's the same as 220, okay, 22 divided by 0.4 is the same as 220 divided by 4. Okay, 4 goes into 22 5 times, 4 goes into 25 times. 55, it says write the equation in the in the distribution in the distributive axiom that just means the same as distribution over addition so if I were to I'm making sure I understand what he's asking so I think he's just ask, asking for the general equation so that would be something like a b plus c equals a times b plus a times c so that would be 55 if you see a question like that later on. Write the equation of the distributive property over, of multiplication over subtraction would be the very same, except that now it's subtraction here and subtraction here. So you should note that. Distribution over addition and over subtraction for number 56. All right.